Hey, I hope you're having a great week. I'm just excited to share our healthy habit of the week this week because it really is the secret to having the best success while you're on the program, but also how to keep your weight off for the rest of your life. As you guys know, this program that you are doing is a healthy lifestyle program. It is not a diet. Hopefully that word never leaves your mouth about being on a diet. This is a healthy lifestyle program. Um, and there's five key things that are going to help you get to your goal, but also help you keep it off for the rest of your life. And these are things that you should ask yourself even daily, how you're doing with these five areas and always be working on improving these five areas because it's the key to your success. The first one is your sleep. Sleep is so important. You need about seven to eight hours of restful sleep. So make that a priority. Your body's actually detoxing and um, losing most of the weight when you're asleep. So I call it get your skinny sleep. Make that a priority. Number two is hydration. Hydration means drinking your water. So as we know, you need half of your body weight in ounces of water up to 100 ounces. So even if you weigh 300 pounds, you still only need 100 ounces of water. And even if you weigh less than 200 pounds, um, I still love to get 100 ounces of water just because it makes me feel so much better. It controls my hunger and craving and it just keeps me full longer and it's so healthy for you, especially first thing in the morning to have a big glass of water right next to your bed and just chug that. I do that at lunch at, when I'm making dinner, just chug water during the day. Um, you can also just check your urine when you go to the bathroom. Um, try to keep it very pale yellow or clear. That's a, a hint that you are getting enough water. All right, the third thing is stress management. How are you managing your stress? Are you a stress eater? Are you craving chocolate when you're stressed? That's what I used to do. Um, recognize those triggers and recognize those habits that you're in and think of ways that you can change that habit for something healthier. So going for a walk, reading a book, taking a bath, um, organizing a closet, something that's gonna make you feel happy if you accomplish it or relax. So recognize those triggers and start working on changing those. The best way you can do that is by working in your workbook and reading your book and also jumping on the Habits of Health calls on Wednesday nights. That really helps with the mindset training. Um, all right, the fourth one is eating six small balanced meals throughout the day. So we get in the habit of eating within half an hour of waking up and not going over three hours. We wanna keep that blood sugar balanced so ask yourself, are you getting all of your meals? Are you getting them on time? Are you keeping them balanced and portion control? So when you're on the program, that's so simple. You just grab one of your meal replacements, do your lean and green, you got it. Um, but once you get into that maintenance phase, keeping your weight off, uh, that's when you kind of have to plan ahead and really work with your coach. So let me know how I can help you um, if you're struggling with that phase. And then the fifth one is exercise. Exercise is crucial to keeping your weight off. It's not so much the key to losing the weight, that's really about your nutrition, but that's a really good healthy habit to incorporate on your weight loss journey so that it becomes a habit for the rest of your life. And it's so good mentally, it helps de-stress, it just helps your body in so many ways to get some exercise. It doesn't have to be intense, you don't have to go to, even to the gym if you don't want to, but just moving your body, and that's one way that you can really practice living a healthy lifestyle is always making sure that you're making time for exercise. Even if you don't have time to go to the gym, that happens to me all the time. I just have to squeeze in 10, 20 minutes here and there. In between picking up one of my kids at sports, I'll just go for a walk while I'm waiting. Or if I have a few minutes, I'll jump on the treadmill or taking the stairs up and down a few times, just making sure that you're making some exercise a priority every day. So those are your high fives. Remember that I'm going to send a visual that you can see, but I'm gonna go over those really quick. Sleep, hydration, stress management, and mindfulness. Six balanced meals a day and exercise. So ask yourself, how am I doing with my high five? And I hope you're having a great week. Just let me know how I can help and what your biggest goal is for the week. Have a good week. We'll talk.